Our lesson for today will be based on chemistry 1502, that is general chemistry 1b, also known as organic chemistry. The focus for today's topic will be under unit 1 in your study guide, and we will be looking at the most basics of chemistry, which is the atomic structure. This is lesson 101, let us start. If you were doing chemistry 1501 and you were under this program SJ Bakula tutorials then it means you already know the basics that we'll be covering in this lesson video because we'll be looking at the nature of atoms we'll be looking at the atomic structure how to represent atoms using structures and also explain how we generate the Lewis structures so those are the basics which are very important for you to understand but if you are not part of it it's okay i will simply go through the very same basics in this lesson video or you can also check the lesson video of chemistry 1501 that is the basics from one up to four i'll also leave the links of those lesson videos in the description so let us start what is important for you to understand when it comes to atomic structures is that there are many ways to represent atomic structure and one of the most simplest ways is using a structure like this whereby we have this as our nucleus and then we have what we call shells or energy levels. So each and every element in the, on the periodic table has its own atomic structure. Depending on the properties, especially looking at the atomic number. Now looking at the structure, you should know that in the middle or in the center, which is the nucleus, we refer this to the nucleus, we have positive charges. That is where the positive charges are located and also the neutrons, those neutral charges. Remember that an atom consists of neutrons, protons, and electrons. Protons are those positive charges which are located in the middle of the atomic structure, and then the neutrons, which are the neutral particles, are also located in the middle. And then we have electrons, which are negative charges. They are located on the energy levels. Now, like I said, each and every element has its own atomic structure. The structure depends on the atomic number of the element. Now the question is, what is an atomic number? Now looking at a periodic table, we can see a periodic table consists of elements. And then we have the symbols of the elements and then we also have the numbers on top of each and every symbol of an element and also the number below the element now these numbers here let's say for example looking at hydrogen this number here we refer to the atomic number then at the bottom we call it the atomic mass and then this is the symbol of hydrogen now let us talk more about this atomic number like I said, atomic number tells us many things about the element, like for example, hydrogen, it is atomic number one, and also this atomic number tells us the element number. So you can see that uh, element number one is hydrogen, the atomic number is one. If you can check element number two, it's helium, the atomic number is two. Element number 11, it's sodium you can see that the number is 11. So that is one of the things that the atomic number tells us about that particular element or atom. Now, the atomic number also tells us the number of protons that we have within that atom and the number of electrons. You should know that if the atomic number is 1, it means that hydrogen has 1 proton, one electron. Remember that we are talking about a, a neutral atom, 
We are not talking about ions here. We're talking about elements from the periodic table. Now, looking at lithium, lithium, the atomic number is three. This means that it has three protons and three electrons. Looking at calcium, it's element number 20. It means it has 20 protons, 20 electrons. So with this information, we can go ahead and draw different types of atomic structures. Before we start, think about this configuration, 2882. I will simply explain it shortly, how we use this configuration. And this configuration, it's only applicable to the first 20 elements up to calcium, from hydrogen up to calcium. This configuration assists us on how to draw the atomic structure. Now suppose we want to draw the atomic structure of hydrogen. We know that hydrogen is element number one. So we are going to represent the nucleus using the symbol of hydrogen. Then we know that here we have only one positive, I mean one proton. And then during the energy level, how many electrons do we have on hydrogen atom? We only have one electron because it's element number one. So we represent that electron using a dot on top of this energy level and then by the way we refer this to the first energy level this is the second this is the third and then so forth so hydrogen only has one electron on the first energy level let us go to the second one let us try to draw lithium lithium is element number three it means it has three protons three electrons so we need three electrons so we're going to, to to put the first electron here the second electron here we cannot put another electron here because the first energy level only occupies a maximum of two electrons this is the second energy level this is the third energy level this is the fourth energy level. So instead of let me quickly put this here. Instead of putting the third electron on the first energy level, we move to the next energy level. But remember that lithium is element number three. It has three electrons. So you can see we have three electrons here. Let us look at oxygen. Oxygen is element number 8. So we expect to see 8 electrons. So we start by drawing the first energy level electrons, which occupies only 2, and then we move to the next one. So we have 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see we have eight electrons. Let us go ahead and draw atomic structure of the last element, which is calcium. Calcium is element number 20. So we start one, two, go to the next energy level. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we need to go to the next energy level. So all in all now we have ten electrons. We need another ten electrons. So check out the, 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 the configuration. Remember it's two eight eight two. We are done with the first two energy levels. We go to the next one. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18. Go to the next one. Nineteen and twenty. So this is the atomic structure of calcium. Now, if we can draw atomic structures, it's very simple for us to draw the Lewis structures. Lewis structure simply represents the valence electrons. We only need the symbol of the element and the valence electrons. What are valence electrons? Remember that we have energy levels. Valence electrons are those electrons that are located on the outermost energy level. Now, this is the, we can say the last energy level an atom has. This is the last energy level. How many electrons do we have? We only have two. So if we were to draw a Lewis dot diagram for this atom, it will simply be like this. Only represent the valence electrons. Since we have two valence electrons, this is the Lewis dot diagram. Now going through the previous examples. Lewis diagram of hydrogen will be like this. For lithium, we only have one. Then for oxygen, we only have six of them. In order for you to understand all these basics, just make sure you watch this lesson videos successive, meaning that you don't skip any lesson video. Since this is 101, just make sure you watch 102 after watching 101 because 102 will continue from here. Now that's it for this lesson video. This is Wawula SG. Thank you very much.